Well, hey there you. In this video, I'm going to share my top tips with you about how you can negotiate trade discounts with suppliers. Now, if you've got a whole range of trade discounts sorted out with different suppliers, you've negotiated the best deals and you know exactly what you're doing, then you do not need to watch this video. However, if you were like I was when I was starting out or even a little way into business, and I didn't really know how to manage trade accounts, then keep watching, this one's for you. I'm Kate Hatherall, and here at the Interior Designers Hub, we help people to build wildly successful interior design businesses. So when I started out in business, I didn't know a huge amount about trade accounts and about how to access discounts. I didn't really realize that they were a thing and asking for a discount quite often made my toes curl and I just felt really cringy about the whole thing. But the truth is, is that trade discounts are a really great way of you bringing additional revenue into your business or even passing that on to your clients so that they can benefit from your discounts too. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and ideas to help you get started with trade discounts. So the first thing you want to do is to identify the suppliers that you want to work with. Now it sounds obvious, but what you should be looking for are suppliers that have FF&E, so furniture, fixings and equipment that are in your niche. So think about the type of interior design that you do. Do you do high-end modern country interiors or maybe you deliver industrial interiors? Get clear about the sorts of suppliers that you want to be working with and then begin to approach them about their trade accounts. The reason you want to narrow this down is because when you can work with people consistently, you can build up a good relationship with them and that helps you to negotiate better discounts further down the line. The second thing to do is where possible to research the trade discounts that they offer. If you happen to know other interior designers, you can ask them what trade discounts they get from different suppliers. You'll find that not everybody will give you the same answer and that's because some designers are able to access different discounts than other designers. But in this video, we're talking through exactly why that is and what you can do about it. If you can go equipped to the supplier with the information about the different discount levels that they provide, you've got a better chance of being in a stronger position to negotiate a better discount for your account. The next thing to do is to find out what you need to do to be eligible to have a trade discount. Sometimes these are listed on the company's websites and sometimes you have to contact them to find out more. They may require you, for example, to be VAT registered, or they might only offer trade deals to people that are in limited companies, or there might be other conditions that they have attached. But it's best to find that out before you go into a conversation so you know exactly where you stand. The next tip is to find out who runs the trade department. So who is head of trade for that supplier? With most companies, they have a trade department and they have somebody that manages that team. If you can find out who the people are, then it stands you in good stead to begin building a relationship with them. Remember, people like to transact with people. People. And if you can get to know your trade teams really well, you'll find that you can have a really fruitful relationship with them. And link to that is when contacting the trade teams to actually pick up the phone and talk to them. I know that these days that we all rely on email and social media to communicate, but if you can actually pick up the phone, it really does help to build rapport and a better relationship with your trade teams. Now, once you've got through to your trade teams, ask them about additional support that they can offer. So yes, of course you want to access their discounts, but some trade accounts also come with other perks. For example, it may be that you can get free samples or it may be that you get free delivery. Once you've got through to your contacts in the trade team, ask them questions about what sorts of benefits they can bring you. So for example, some trade accounts will offer you free samples or they may even offer you free delivery. Some of them will offer additional perks like for example being shouted out on their social media so it gives you more exposure and some of them will allow you to use their shop premises for you to meet clients and so on. So it's always a great idea to have a conversation with them to see what other benefits they can bring to you and your business. The great thing as well about talking to somebody by phone is that you can ask them all sorts of questions about how their trade discounts work. So for example, you can ask them whether they have a tiered discount scheme or a flat rate scheme. If they've got a tiered discount scheme, it may mean that for the first £20,000, for example, that you spend with them, you get 10% off, but then anything above that, that you then get 20% off. And being able to have that conversation really helps you to unlock additional information about how their trade schemes work. Now, before you get too deep into trade accounts, make sure that you're crystal clear about the terms and conditions that you are transacting under. Often suppliers will have different trade terms and conditions than they will for retail clients. So make sure that you understand exactly how everything works. For example, this could affect the returns policy. So just make sure that you've read through your contracts and that you're really clear about how your relationship with the supplier is different to how it would be for a retail client. If you're struggling to set up a trade account with a supplier, make sure that you offer to trade pro 
performer with them. What this means is that they invoice you and you pay the bill upfront before you receive delivery of the goods. This means that the supplier doesn't have to give you any credit and that might make them feel more comfortable about transacting with you. In practice, most suppliers will allow you to trade pro forma. So if they're refusing you for credit terms, then definitely ask if you can transact under that relationship instead. And last but certainly not least, think about coming and checking out our membership Hub Insiders. We have negotiated scores of trade discounts that you get to access as soon as you sign up. You don't have to jump through any hoops. You're already guaranteed a trade discount and often they are at a higher rate that you can negotiate on your own because we're buying as a big group. All right, so let's recap on those top tips for trade discounts. Tip number one was to identify suppliers in your niche. Tip number two was to research everything that you can about trade discounts so that you go in armed with the information you need. Tip number three was to find out in advance what you need to be eligible, whether that's VAT registration, being a limited company or something else. Tip number four was to know who heads up the trade team so that you can build a relationship with them. Tip number five was to pick up the phone and actually speak to the trade team. It's amazing what information you can get when you speak to them one by one. The next tip was to ask about the additional benefits that they can bring, whether that's free samples, a shout out on social media or something else. The next tip was to get clear about your terms and conditions because your trade terms may be different from retail terms. Tip seven was to offer to trade pro forma with them instead of asking for a credit account. And the final tip was to definitely check out Hub Insiders so that you can get access to our many trade discounts where you don't have to worry about negotiating a thing. All right, my lovely. So I hope that that's given you a really clear idea about how trade discounts work and the things that you can do to make sure that you are benefiting from the highest discounts possible. Thanks so much for watching my video here on YouTube. If you've enjoyed this and found it helpful, then make sure that you've subscribed to our channel and that you hit the bell to get notifications of the next video coming out. I'll see you next time.